Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm showing you these foil, mint, foil mates by Gina K, and it's called Ornamental Holiday. So in this set, you get two designs. One is stripes, which is like this, after it's been foiled. And then one is ornaments, just like that. So what these sheets are, it, they are toner. The whole design is in toner. So this is just black and white. The black is the toner. And it allows you to put any color foil you want to make your own sort of papery design. So some of the foils that Gina K has that I think is great for the holidays is this brilliant blue, the glittering green, and you can see that there's like little stars and sparkle and that in the glitter. Sparkling silver. Oh, the same blue. Radiant red. And twinkling pink. So after you foil it, I showed you a couple, but just so you can see how even though they're both silver, or they're both stripes, sorry. One is silver and one is red. Or here in the um, ornaments, I have a green, I have a red, and then this is a silver. So they make really pretty papers. Now the one thing I just wanted to point out is when I talk about having your parchment paper completely smooth, if there is a little fold in your parchment, you're not going to get your foil there. Now, because I was cutting up this paper, it didn't really bother me because I was just cutting it up to use it. But that is why it's important when you're putting it through the laminator that your parchment be nice and smooth. Otherwise, it will affect your foiling. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Now this parchment actually comes in the foil mates. You do get a sheet of parchment. I'm going to put my foil mate down. Now the foil mate is eight, eight, what is it? Eight and a half by five and a half. But your foil is six by eight. So it won't completely cover the whole thing, the sparkling foil. You could do it in a couple goes. You can do it there and then add a bit more at the other end if you want. I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna get my laminator. I'm using the Royal Sovereign Laminator and I have had it heating up. Now, even though it only takes a few minutes to heat up, I do like to let it heat up for about 20 minutes. And the other thing I didn't say is when I put my um, foil on, it's always the color side up when you're foiling. So whatever color you wanna see that, you're seeing that it's up. While this is working, you could be prepping your next things you want to be going through. Because I, when I foil, I like to foil a lot of things at once, um, bulk foiling so I don't have to foil a piece for each project I make. You don't want to pull it. It's going to come out itself. I just know it's at the end there. So let's see this big reveal. Ta -da! So you can see on this side how wherever it's white, it's now been foiled here. And there we have, can you see a beautiful blue stripe background. Now, you can use these as full on cards, but as I said before, I like to cut it up and I just made a couple cards to show you that I just took strips of the paper to add to my cards. And it just adds that nice little foil sparkle for the season. And I also just wanna mention that when you're making your holiday cards, it can be as simple as this. You don't have to make really extravagant cards, but just by cutting up little pieces, and then I had, um, I had gotten a piece of paper that had these already, I just cut them out, added it on. They're quick little cards, yet they're really pretty, and I think people would love to get them for the holidays. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.